First of all, congratulations on a hard-fought victory. I'm curious, what are the emotions and both physically, how are you feeling after a fight like that? Uh, I'm a little bit tired, as you can see. But I feel great. I'm happy for the win. Uh, I work hard for this fight. I feel like I was using a little bit too much energy in the first. Uh, I was in a great shape, so uh, I didn't really manage my, my cardio as I want. So, But I got the victory, so I'm really happy. And then you mentioned uh, not using your gas correctly maybe in the first round going to the second. Do you think that's why he had such a, a strong performance in the second round or was it something he caught you I off think so. With? I think so, yeah. I got a little bit too excited in the first. Uh, I'm not going to lie. He, he hurt me pretty bad in the second. But uh, I got a strong mind, a uh, strong chin. I never quit, never give up. Uh, as you guys know, I come from far away from Africa. Uh, then I went to Switzerland uh, three years and a half ago. I moved to US. So I'm not here for nothing. I would never quit. And then in that second round, I think a lot of people online too were surprised that even the referee let it continue. Well, so while you're going through that, are you worried that maybe the referee Mike Beltran was going to step in and stop the fight? I wasn't really worried. I knew he was more tired than me. So even if we stand again, uh, I would still throwing some punches and kicks, and even if I was feeling pretty comfortable on the ground. So, yeah. And then after he exuded so much energy in round two, going into the third round, did you know that you can now take advantage of now him being tired there? The thing is, he was trying to, <coughs> I'm sorry, trying to put me away so bad. He gets so tired. Then uh, I feel like he start quitting a little bit. Then finally, uh, how soon do you want to get back in there, and how would you like the rest of your year to look like here in the UFC? Uh, you know, I want to get back as soon as possible. Uh, I want to stay active. We'll see uh, how I feel. Uh, I think end of next week, I'll be back in training, and uh, and we'll see. But I really want to fight before the end of the year. Let's start over here. Over here. Jesus Rodriguez from Univision. Congratulations in your performance tonight. Thank you, sir. Uh, Israel Adesanya, Francis Nangani, uh, Kamaru Usman, hold three of the eight uh, world title belt. And it seems to me that Africa is taking over the UFC. What you can tell me about that? Uh, it means a lot for me. You know, I really hope one day we're going to have a UFC Africa. It's going to be big, huge. Uh, there is a lot of things to do there. In my country, Congo, uh, I know we have a lot of potential. Uh, uh, in the future, I hope we can build something there too. Uh, it would be nice for the UFC to get there because, like you said, we have three African champ, so it's huge, it's big. Yeah. Thank you. Right over here. Uh, at the end of the fight, we saw you and Gilbert Burns talking a lot. I'm just curious, what was he saying to you at the end of the fight? Relax, bro. Smile. That's your moment. Smile. Uh, if you watch my IG page, most of the people think I never smile. Uh, I don't really feel comfortable when people tell me to smile, when they want to take a picture. I got a camera in front of me. Uh, I don't know. It's just natural. Uh, I'm happy, but maybe you don't really see it that way. Uh, so he was telling me to smile, motherfucker, smile. <laughs> And then also, there there were a couple of boos near the end of the fight, and I'm just curious if that got in your head at all, or if you even heard it when you were on, when he was on the bottom like that. No, at all. Uh, the people who say that would do stuff like that, they don't know what it is to fight. So you know, it doesn't affect me in my head. You know, I'm here to fight. That's it. Congratulations. Thank you. I appreciate that.